Um, I've been painting full time for 13 years now. Um, in the beginning, it's basically trying to make an income from from your art, but sure. you need to develop yourself. So I did go to art school, and now we're going to business school. Because yeah. art and business needs to be married. If you're an artist, you need to know how business works because you're never going to be able to buy brushes, never able, able to move forward as an artist because you need to know this is what I spent and this is what I need to make from it. And also you need to market yourself. Yeah. The whole time you need to market yourself. And it's extremely difficult in our country um, for any upcoming artist to go into a gallery and say, listen, here's my work, you know, because they're only, they're, they're only interested in selling um, artists that make money. They sometimes do look for new artists, but it's not uh, like, a, like an everyday thing. Oh man, that is the hardest thing as an artist, yeah. you know? Um, like all the galleries here today is owned by white people. I'm just going to say it like it is. One yeah. to speak the truth. Right? It's true, it's true. So it's owned by predominantly white people, Afrikaans people, you know, and they sell like a color washes. They sell like, um, I don't want to make it political, but this is my journey. You yeah. know? This is what it is. You know, as you see what I'm painting, I'm painting the youth. I'm excited for tomorrow, June 16th. You yeah, know? sure. Um, but anyway, coming back to that, when you do approach these people, they kind of, uh, you know what? It's difficult for me to sign, to sell your piece because how is a, 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 a white name with an uh, Africa uh, with, with a black star name yeah. gonna look hanging on my wall, so it's gonna be like people's gonna question it, you know. So the art's good, yeah, but we can't buy, but thing. we can't buy into that. Then I then I realized, wow, this is very political. So it was an extremely tough journey. So I I started marketing it myself, and that's where you've seen my work. So I do sure. roadside gallery. Um, I've been doing it one year now because um, as an artist. If you're not selling your work, you're only a painter. Yeah. Artist means I'm selling. Yeah. And I'm selling sell. my work. You know, super successful. Uh, I believe I'm going to be one of the best selling artists in South Africa, even though I'm not on social media. I just saw another one recently, similar to this. Yeah. That a guy bought for his home as his first art piece, his proper art piece. You know, and he's an African guy in our country. Yeah. So he's super excited to hang this piece up in his new mm -hmm. home. So for me, why must I concentrate on America and Switzerland where art selling for thousands of dollars? That's not my journey. That's why I'm not on social media. Yeah. I first want to AC here in South Africa. You know? Yeah. When I was 16, I met Nelson Mandela, right? So I was at the youth rally, it was the uprisings. We were in grade 11, which which was uh, standard nine. Yeah. Um one year before, you know, it was two yeah. And um, we were at the youth rally, we were very early, it was in, in Rosebank. Um, at the zoo lake and um, he was there early at the zoo and we sneaked into the gate and then he called us it was me and one of my best friends Alistair yeah. and um, he, he, he spoke to us just before he became president he had like a 10 minute conversation yeah. with us and he said you know what you're the future of the country you know stay in school don't drink don't do drugs you know the normal yeah. mandala talks you know? <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. and we were like okay I, I was I, I was not completely uh, in the light of who Nelson was I kind of yeah. heard about him you know? but now that I've read all his books and I and I know the history of my country and I continue the journey, yeah. you know. It gives me such a satisfaction to know that I met him. Yeah. But I'll never forget his words. He said, if you want to make a difference in South Africa, create something.